Changes are being made to the credit industry starting today, and it affects everybody who gets a credit card bill. Our own Ray Martin is here to help us make sense of it all. Good morning, Ray. Good morning, Maggie. Let's get right to the provisions that take effect today, beginning with changes in the billing process. I think all of you are really going to like this because you're going to have ample time to pay your bill. Well, that's right. According to the Credit Card Act, the Credit Card Accountability Responsibility Disclosure Act, credit card companies had 14 days to send your statements before your payment is due. Now they're going to have to send your statement 21 days before your payment is due, giving you more time to read your statement, ask questions, and prepare to make your payment. That's wonderful news. That's one of the changes that goes into effect today. Okay, I, I know that another one is that they have this way sometimes of sneaking new rates uh, or fees into your bill. They can't do that anymore. Well, according to the old rules, credit card companies could make changes to your interest rates or fees and charges 15, and give you only a notice of 15 days, oftentimes not giving you time to think about it or exactly. react to it. Now they're going to have to give you six weeks or 45 days notice in writing before they make changes to your interest rates or make changes to significant terms and conditions on your credit cards, giving you, again, time to think about it, ask questions, and time to shop around. Now you have six, six weeks notice here. That gives you clearly the advantage because you can tell them, I'm going to opt out of this unless you stick to my old rate. Or I'll shop around and look for a competitor. Exactly right. I'm sure that the credit card companies anticipate this and they anticipate there will be even more and stricter changes in the months to come. So what are they doing to protect their profits? Well, here's the thing. The major provisions of the Credit Card Act go into effect in February in six months, which restrict the interest rate changes credit card companies can make and the fees and make, require them to make simpler statements. So this letter is issued by American Express or received by one of our viewers is one of the thousands of letters being sent out by credit card companies. And in it, they're saying to their customers, hey, right now we're changing your interest rate to an adjustable rate on purchases to prime plus 11 and a quarter percent or 14 and a half percent adjustable rate on purchases. We're changing your interest rate on cash advances to an adjustable rate based on mm. prime to 24 percent right now. And we're changing your interest rate on balances with a penalty rate to prime plus a margin of 27 percent right now. That's just one change going out now while the credit card companies can do it. And you know they're moving to an adjustable rate while interest rates are historically low. Finding and adjustable it. rate changes on your credit cards will not be restricted under the new act. Oh my goodness. All right. We should, we should point out in the last seconds, there are things you still have to be vigilant of even though these provisions are going into effect. There are four things you need to do now. First, you need to make all of your payments on time because if you do, credit card companies won't be able to increase your interest rates come February. You need to pay more than the minimum payment due. You need to not use your credit card for cash advances and watch your statements and read all your mail carefully for all the changes coming up. And if your credit card company isn't playing by the rules, go to occ.trej.gov and report them. And remember, you heard it early on The Early Show. You heard it from Ray Martin. <laughs> and you can find more on the website. Thank you, Ray. Earlyshow.cbsnews.com. All of Ray's advice for free.